Good morning, boys and girls. It's a Wednesday, and it's a gorgeous day. It's freezing cold. Focus. There we go. It's freezing cold outside. Today, we're going to have a look at the uh, driver's compartment and all the gauges and controls and whatnot on the 27... Oh, I can't talk this morning. The 2017 CE. Uh, as you can see, it's got uh, 1,137 miles on it so far. And had no issues, no problems, running well. And uh, well, we take, start off with a gauge cluster. And this is uh, very, very similar to the tens, with the exception of we have a, uh, a DEF gauge here that wasn't found on the older buses. The DEF, that stands for diesel exhaust fluid. And that's a uh, chemical that gets injected into the exhaust stream at the uh, catalytic muffler. And what that does, it helps oxidize some of the nasties that go out the tailpipe. So it makes them, uh, it, it, it neutralizes some of the hydrocarbons, so it makes the exhaust stream much, much cleaner. And there's also a particle filter in there that uh, filters out the soot that diesel produces. And uh, the way that system operates is that it operates at a very high temperature especially when you're on the highway and what that actually does it, it it cooks from what I can tell it cooks the uh, soot down to such a fine uh, point that it basically doesn't exist anymore I think it just it gets it, it disappears out through the exhaust stream but anyway it cooks it and removes it and if you drive around slowly all the time let's see you have an urban run and you never get on the expressway you'd have to do a thing called a uh, parked regen which is where the, the vehicles parked and a special run system is activated and the vehicle basically sits for a half an hour at high RPM to generate the heat to cook and clean out the particular filter so that's that's about the extent of my knowledge on that so if anybody else knows or is familiar with that they can uh, maybe add their two cents in but anyway uh, then we have a water filter, or water filter, water temp, oil pressure, tachometer, speedometer, and then we have this LCD screen here, and it has things like trip mileage, number of hours, so this, this unit has operated for a total of 35 hours, trip hours, same thing, engine PTO hours, two of those instant miles per gallon, trip miles per gallon. So this so far I've been averaging 7.6, which is not bad considering the engine's not even broken in. Engine PTO gallons. I don't real or I don't understand what this is for. I don't know what that is either. And then back to mileage. Then we have our voltage, fuel, and both pressure gauges for the air system. And over here on this panel, only thing is here is the ignition switch parking brake and the uh, gear selector and this is a five speed then you see if uh, D is overdrive uh, nothing here I suppose in, in, a, in a perfect world you'd have a nice stereo here and maybe uh, the two way radio could be mounted here that would be nice it would get it out of the way and then down here there's an econ button when you turn that on it makes this thing shift even sooner which the shift map that's in this now, it upshifts so quickly it's ridiculous. It's, it's overkill, really. Okay, down here on this panel, we have lamp check. You push that, and that makes all the lights cycle on the exterior. makes all the exterior lights cycle through. Have your headlight switch, and then we have our panel bright and dim rocker. Up here, we've got your left fan, which is the one over my head defog fan which is that one up there the one that makes noise and blows hot air our radio is up here our uh, camera system a panic button is there or incident button and then the, uh, the the rocker switch panel is a little bit different instead of five heater switches we only have four and you have the midship here step well and then they combine driver heat and defrost okay so they eliminated uh driver heat switch so they combine the two and we got rear heat and a bunch of empty panels uh, then we have our mirror controls this is mirror heat 
and this is a momentary switch. Uh, you activate it and then it times out and shuts itself off. Strobe light, dome light, here's the door switch. Nice. Uh, override switch, which activates the big reds in case you have a malfunction of some sort. Crossing gate cancel. Have our four-way flashers where you can you can activate your four ways here or you can activate them here. It's like on the 10. You got two different places. You have a noise suppression switch, which turns the fans and the radio off. And then we have the big uh, the, the flasher light activation switch. And this starts the yellows. I don't know if that work right now. This starts the yellows. And then you have a door switch. And then on the 10s, these knobs were down, down here on a little panel. So this has been redesigned slightly. This this area here in your glove compartment is bigger. So you have recirculate and fresh, which is useless. Uh, and now this is part of the uh, the combined driver heat and defrost. This knob here, you can make it favor the defroster, split between defroster and driver, or favor the driver. Okay, you can't, you can't ever really turn the driver all the way off. And then you have temp control, which controls all the heaters in the entire bus. And if you get, I found, if you get much past half, the back cooler uh, heaters go cold. You know, it's nice and comfortable up here, but then you're freezing your passengers. So you got to kind of find a, uh, it seems like about there, you get heat from, well, so right about there, you get heat from everything. And then you have this glove compartment. And it's, like I said, it's bigger than what's on the 10s. You've got more room. There's no overhead storage at all. Got the camera system mounted behind the mirror. One conventional fan, and then you got the noisemaker there. And that's basically it. Fire extinguisher is where you usually find it. And anyway, oh, and on the steering wheel we have the fast idle control. Some people think that, uh, or actually, it's an option that's available on internationals. Is you can they have a the, the big reds and big yellow lights can, and door can be controlled from these switches here, but we don't have that on this. Uh, we just have the uh, fast idle. You activate it and then hit Excel, and it and it speeds the motor up to uh, 1,250 RPM for warm up in the mornings. And uh, that's a handy feature right there. And it definitely helps get you some heat going sooner. And uh, so far, I'm really happy with this bus. It is extremely quiet. And uh, this acoustic ceiling is amazing. I mean, it really, really has cut down on the noise. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys the, uh, the office area of my new CE. And uh, there will be more coming up, uh, more details of this bus coming up shortly. And I appreciate you guys coming around. Like, subscribe, and appreciate you all coming around and watching my school bus videos. I'll talk to you all later.